Hiya, welcome back to my channel again for another video and also happy Easter as you're watching this. It is officially Easter Sunday, the day that this goes up, so I hope you're having a lovely day, whether you're spending it with family or friends. Let me know what you're up to down below in the comments, what kind of Easter eggs and everything like that that you've got this year and what you've been spending your day doing. I, today, am going to be doing an Easter Q&A as I thought that would be the perfect kind of video to do on Easter Day. So a few days ago I took to Twitter to ask you for some of your Easter and spring themed questions which I'm going to go through now and answer some of them for you and I hope you enjoy this video. I do just really want to quickly say before I start this, I'm sorry if I mispronounce anyone's name or username, I'm not always the best at doing that so please excuse me if I don't pronounce your name right. So the first question is from Tamsin and it is what's the worst Easter egg? Oh, I don't know what the worst was. I've never really thought about the worst. I've always just thought about obviously your best or your favourite is the one that you want to get, but the worst Easter egg? I'm going to look up like a list of UK Easter eggs, so ones that I'll be familiar with, and decide from there because right now I can't think what the worst is because obviously if there's one that I don't like, I'm not going to buy it. Right, here's a picture of a supermarket shelf. Let's have a look through. Oh god, there's so many! I just don't know which to say is the worst. Maybe I'm gonna go for just like a plain chocolate egg one. Like a Cadbury's Buttons one. I love Cadbury's chocolate, don't get me wrong. But when you've got a full on chocolate egg, then you kind of want something else with it. So for example, if you have the Cadbury's cream egg ones, you get the Cadbury Dairy Milk egg, but then you also get the cream eggs. So like it's something else as well, whereas if you get the Cadbury's Buttons egg, then you literally get a big egg made of the dairy milk chocolate, which I absolutely love and it's fine, but then you also get a packet of buttons, which is just more of the dairy milk chocolate, so maybe I'm going to go with that one because it's like the least exciting, but it's not exactly like I dislike it as such. Quite a hard question. The next question is from Rachel and it is, do you do Easter egg hunts? Every single year, me and my sister would wake up on Easter morning and there'd be eggs hidden all around the sort of living room area and we'd always do an Easter egg hunt. That's how our Easter day would start. I'd love doing it. And to be fair, we were always pretty good at them, although it'd always get down to the last like one or two eggs and they'd be like impossible to find them and no one would even locate them. Both my mum and my dad wouldn't be able to find them either. Eventually we'd get them, but it'd always be the hardest to find the last one or two eggs and we've done that for quite a long time up until very recently to be honest we've still done an easter egg hunt i don't know if we actually still do them or not i'll find out on easter day if there's still an easter egg hunt or not but we have done them for ages and all through my childhood years yes we definitely did one every year without fail the next question is from ben and that is favorite chocolate if you like chocolate i mean who doesn't really like chocolate i'd say in terms of branded chocolate Cadbury's would probably be my favourite. Out of theirs I quite like the caramel chocolates and whispers as well I do quite like. Also Cadbury picnics actually, they're quite good. I like the fact they've got raisins in there, it's like chewy. So that would probably have to be my favourite brand of chocolate just for their like plain dairy milk chocolate as well. And then probably in terms of a more healthier raw chocolate, if we're going for that, I would have to say Panna chocolate. Honestly, it tastes amazing and it's all made with natural raw ingredients and it's so good. It tastes really creamy and like it should contain dairy, but it doesn't, which is just amazing. So in terms of my more sort of favorite convention, I'd go with something Cadbury's related. And then on a more healthier side, I'd definitely go for Panna chocolate. Highly recommend, if you haven't tried it, definitely try and get your hands on some. The next question is from Ellie and her question is what is your favourite item of clothing for spring? I'd say in the spring I always like to wear kind of florals and pastel colours, paler colours definitely for sure. I do have a bodysuit which I quite like actually. I quite like wearing 
off the shoulder items of clothing, quite loose tops. So I have like a white off the shoulder top which is just very loose and which is great for this time of year. As it's an item of clothing which keeps you a bit cooler during the springtime as it starts to heat up a little bit. I do have a floral bodysuit that I do really like that's off the shoulder and I was just going to show you it. I realised I literally was wearing it the other day so I can't because I think it's currently in the wash. I was wearing it though in a vlog so if there's a good screenshot of it from a vlog then I'll insert a picture of it here. It's basically an off the shoulder bodysuit from New Look and it's like a creamy kind of colour with like floral pattern on it and I think those kind of things are great for this time of year. Definitely pastel colours and floral prints. The next question is from Destiny and it's what's your favourite flower? Ooh, I don't know what my favourite flower. I quite like roses, they're always nice. The white roses actually I do really like. Then, oh, what other flowers are pretty? I can picture different flowers, but I, I'm so bad at the names. So I'm just gonna search up types of flowers quickly and try and see if I can find one. Ooh, lotus flowers are quite pretty, actually. The big purple ones, they're nice. Or what else? Water lilies are really pretty too. Peonies as well are nice. I love going for like the pinky purpley toned kind of flowers. I think they're always really pretty. Or particularly at springtime, daffodils are nice because they're bright yellow and it's like as it's getting brighter and better weather as well. So I love seeing like all the daffodils and yellowy toned flowers around as well. So I don't know if I have one particular favourite flower, but definitely all the big sort of pinky purpley toned ones and then also daffodils oh and also buttercups are quite nice this time of year as well they're very pretty when they start appearing during the springtime the next question is from kelly and her question is any egg hunts that were super memorable i think i would have to go with this one in particular where as i was saying before when you get down to the last couple of eggs and you find it really hard to find them there was one year when none of us anyone in my family could find the last egg and we just literally for days we couldn't find it and then I think about two or three months later my dad randomly discovered it I can't actually remember where he found it but he found this egg and he was like oh that must have been the missing one from the Easter egg hunt so we had an egg that was missing for like a good two three months post Easter and then we finally found it randomly one day so that one's probably the most memorable one just because of how much of a fail finding that last egg was. Brandon asks what's the best and worst presents you've received? If this is in terms of Easter then I've always just got Easter eggs for Easter so I'm always gonna kind of love my Easter presents in a way because it's always just chocolate eggs so who doesn't love that yeah so in terms of Easter presents I don't really have a best and worst probably like when I was younger my best thing would always be if I got a giant mini eggs egg because mini eggs were definitely my favorite type of chocolate eggs to have at this time of year and it used to annoy me that I could only get them around Easter time so if I received one of those then it definitely made my day and I was very happy with that so I'd probably go with a mini eggs Easter egg as being the best thing to receive and then the worst one would be if I received like I was saying before I have to just go with a more boring one like the Cadbury's Dairy Milk Buttons one even though it tastes really good it's just more of a boring one to receive then the last question comes from Marine LVL95 I think they're LVLs I'm really sorry if that's wrong but she asks what is your favourite chocolate now this question I've already answered before so I'm not going to bother answering it again <gasps> How could I forget about Terry's Chocolate Orange? I'm sorry, I just forgot about that for a sec. Chocolate Orange is like my favourite type of chocolate. Chocolate flavour, definitely orange chocolate. So Terry's Chocolate Orange has to be right up there. I can't believe I actually forgot about that. So I'm gonna change my answer and say Terry's Chocolate Orange. I honestly can't believe I forgot that one. So those were all the questions that got asked for this little Q&A. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the big thumbs up if you did. Like I said before, let me know what you're getting up to for Easter, what Easter eggs you got this year, what your favorite Easter eggs are and favorite chocolate. Answer some of the questions yourself down below in the comments too. Feel free to do that. A lot of people who ask questions actually have their own YouTube channels as well. So I'll be sure to leave 
links to all their channels down below in the description head over there check all of them guys out too i'd love it if you could do that for me as well as clicking the little red subscribe button down below on my channel too that would be amazing if you could do that and that notifications bell so that you're notified whenever i upload and i'll be sure to see you on wednesday with a brand new video bye